Welcome to Zagile's product overview video. In this video, we will demonstrate Zagile's Smart Search functionality that is available with its Wicked Smart plugin for Atlassian's Confluence Wiki. We will discuss how this type of search differs from and complements traditional search that is available with the Wiki itself. Searching Wiki content typically involves providing a text string in the search window. In this example, we execute a search for the string specification on the entire wiki content and get a result set comprising of pages that contain the string. The matches are highlighted for each page. As you can see, the search is fairly generic and non-discriminate. The actual characteristics of a page aren't known or can be machine processed. A page may depict a process, a requirement, a profile, information about a project, a test case, and so on, but there's no way to retrieve the results based on any of those categories. You have to manually scan the result set and context of the search string to see if it is what you may be looking for. You can also apply search filters to narrow the scope of the search. Here you can see the available filters with the Confluence search function. To filter a search, you can specify a particular space that you would want to search, page content, or attributes such as creation date and the author. This provides some context for the search content, but it still remains generic since it is still processing page content and returning all pages that contain a match for the search string. While the traditional search capability provides a generic mechanism for locating string matches in wiki content, it does not provide us with any way to search for specific pieces of information. It is not possible, for example, to specifically look for information related to a project, a requirement, a test case, or a page containing functional or technical specifications. Zagile Smart Search available in the Wicked Smart plugin for Confluence provides this contextual search capability. You can look for text strings related to specific categories as mentioned above. This capability works in concert with the semantic templates and forms provided by the plugin that allow you to categorize a page as well as associate certain properties with the page content thereby giving it specific structural context. These properties are specific to categories that you define in the underlying schema representing these categories. Wicked Smart currently contains several schemas that represent the software engineering domain. Additional categories and attributes may also be added to the repository. So let's see how Zagile Smart Search works. Here, rather than looking for any occurrence of the text string specification, we are looking for pages that are categorized as documents that may match this string with one of their attributes. As you can see, this time, we get references to three pages of type document that contain the string specifically in the classified by attribute. Moreover, we also get attributes associated with these documents, such as project in which they are produced or consumed, copyright, subject, etc. This is because we have previously captured the category and attributes associated with each page in the Zagile semantic repository. We can navigate directly to the wiki source of the reference by clicking on the document or page title. As you can see from the page, it consists of both the content and properties or annotations that are captured and used in the semantic search. 
For the purpose of this demonstration, we have chosen a document that exists on the W3C and annotated it within our instance of the wiki, capturing it as an iframe. However, any document or page content can be annotated using the same mechanism. You can further navigate across the document properties that may relate it to other concepts or categories. In this example, we click on OWL implementation to get information about the project in which this document was produced. Again, the result for this project will also show its properties that have been captured in the wiki as well as other pages and categories with which it may be associated. Here you can see use cases, requirements, and design goals that are associated with this project. And of course you can click on the project title and go directly to the page that is describing the project labeled OWL implementation. So far we've seen the functionality offered by the basic search component of Wicked Smart. You can also use the power search to define a narrower scope for your search through various filters. The attributes that are used for semantic search that you've seen so far are defined and exposed in various meta models that comprise the semantic repository. These meta models are also referred to as ontologies. In the power search mode, you can filter the search based on string matches within attributes specific to the category. So if the category is a document, then you can search by document source. If it has sub-documents, it has an author, document ID, produced in any project, it's used in any project, it's, it has sub-documents, and so on. And similarly, if the category is a project, then you can search for a specific project code, whether the project produces any document, whether it has any subproject or it is a subproject off, whether it has any test cases, whether it has any requirement items, and so on. This filtering provides some additional flexibility in the search, allowing for a more focused and precise result. And finally, the search category and content that is available in Wicked Smart is not restricted to only wiki content. In fact, the repository being searched through this technology may be populated by not only the wiki, but also Jira, Subversion, and other tools and applications. Once you have integrated various tools and applications in your environment with the Zagile semantic framework, you can leverage a unified search across applications. This concludes the Zagile Smart Search video.